Hey everybody, how you doing today? Wouldn't it be nice if you could just work for 20 years and be done? Like just do two decades, all right, I'm done here. And that's all you had to do. Like you could work for 20 years and retire and like live a pretty comfortable life you know, and just not have to worry about anything. But instead of working 30, 40, 50 years or never retire like some people in our last generation are currently doing, <laughs> would it be nice if it was just 20 years? Well, it used to be kind of like that. Let me explain. What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite veteran banker. Probably the only veteran banker that you know. I think I'm in a pretty small group by myself. But have you ever heard of a pension? I'm, some of you may have. If you've got like a grandparent or maybe even a great-grandparent who worked for like the post office or was in the military or even like an old-fashioned factory job back in the day. They may say, well, I was waiting on my pension money or like if it was grandma and granddaddy's pension. Like you've heard the term, but do you know what a pension is? I mean, one thing we all know is ain't around anymore so what is a pension a pension is a way to get paid forever for your job like even after you stop working like that's pretty that's a really simplified version of it but that's what it is you stop working and your job will continue to pay you forever and some pensions if you had a spouse and you died they will continue to collect your pension until they died <laughs> so let's kind of get into some meat and potatoes here what exactly is a pension? A pension is a retirement plan that your boss pays for. Well, your employer, most notably, usually your boss didn't own the business. But if he did, it'd be he or she would be paying into it. It's a retirement plan for you that they pay for. That's right. Your retirement used to be, long, long time ago, paid for by your employer. <laughs> Sounds cool, right? It's a shame they don't do that anymore. So how does this work? This magic retirement plan where my boss pays for me to retire. Like, <laughs> how do we do that? Like, how do I talk my boss into getting a, a, a pension plan? I need one of those. Like, we need to reinstitute that, but I need to know how do they work? So a really simplified version of it, and I'm going to leave out some of the boring parts, is every, while you're working, your job with your job, employer, boss, whoever this money was coming from, most importantly, not you. Would sit some money to a, would sit some money aside. Now it might be a percentage of your pay, it might be a standard amount, but every you know either year, month, quarter, however they decided to do it, they would take some money on your behalf and they would sit it to the side. And then after a number of years, the money they were sitting to the side, it would grow and it would be managed. And then when you start working, they would use that chunk of money to pay you out until you die. So if you look at like the military. In the military, if you're active duty, big old asterisk there, and you do tw and you work 20 good years for the military, each year they're putting money aside for you for when you retire. That's what they should be doing. And then after 20 years, they say, all right, we're going to pay you whatever your pay was. We're going to give you half of that forever. Well, until you die, because you're not going to live forever. But until you die, we're just going to give you half of what you were making while you were working until you die. I, that sounds pretty awesome. And that's essentially what a pension plan is. Is they're going to take money, and by they I mean your boss, employer, the owner of the business, whoever, most importantly, not you, sits money to the side into this big pot, and it just grows over time. And after 20 years or whatever the pension plan is, um, the military will let you do up to 40 years, believe it or not, and you can get a whole lot more money if you do more than 20. They would take that chunk of money and have somebody invested called a fund manager and they would use the invested income from that money that they set aside for you and use it to pay you out for the rest of your natural life, which is an awesome deal for the employee. Like, if I'm the guy getting the pension, that's great. What happened to them? Why are there no more pensions? Like, I, most jobs, most people are talking to their jobs when I have a pension. Like, the military has a pension. There are a few pensions left. I'm looking at you, military. I got my eye on you, union people. So there's a few pensions left, but not many. So what happened to them? I can tell you what happened to them. They beat up the, the like button for YouTube. That's all it was to it. They, they were smashing and destroying the like button. You gotta really tap the like button, especially for my videos. They weren't liking my videos. They weren't tapping the like button. They were smashing it. And, they, that, and Google was that strong. They made all the pensions go away because people were smashing the like button. <laughs> That's... Obviously, that's not what happened. I mean, I feel silly saying that, but so what happened to all the pension plans? So pension plans have changed into IRAs or individual retirement accounts. Essentially, 
all the jobs and employers and businesses and bosses that said, I don't want to do this. You do it. Now, if you watch the other video we had on IRAs, you'll see that an IRA is an individual retirement account. Basically, you're in charge of your own pension. It's not really the same because it's not managed by somebody else. It's not the same, you know, structure to it. But now everyone has an IRA. You got to set aside enough money so you don't work anymore. Now, if you don't have a pension, which most jobs don't, you need to have an individual retirement account. That could be a 401k, it could be a SEP IRA. There's a bunch of different ways to name it, but you need to have your own. If you don't have one, you need to start one. Like now, I don't care if you're 18 or if you're 58, it's never too late. You need to start one. If you're 58, there's ways, there's actually tax advantages for you to catch up and try to get back to where you should be. But you need to start one. And how do you start one, you ask? In the comment, well, in the description below, I'll have links to Robinhood and Weeble. Both of them allow you to open up, you know, even if it's not a retirement account, a brokerage account so that you can begin investing. I don't care if you got a hundred bucks, start with something. You ever seen the snowball analogy? How like it starts a little itty bitty snowball and it goes down the mountain? Well, that's how investing works. So I don't care if you have just a hundred bucks, you need to start now. The sooner you begin, the better. It's just what it is. Investing works over time. The more time you put in, the more money you make. Pensions are dying off. And the few that are left, in my opinion, won't be there very long because the military has already made changes to theirs. And theirs is going away too. <laughs> so we need to take our own destiny into our own hands and begin managing our own retirement so that we don't have to work forever. Now, if you want to work forever because you just love your job and you don't ever want to stop working, cool. Have fun with that. <laughs> I don't want to work forever. And even if you do, you should still have money set aside for the people you care about. Now, if you do have a pension, comment down below. I'm curious to know where, where the pension still are, still has them. So I know that the military still has one, and I know a lot of unions still have them. But if you're not one of those two boats, I'm really curious to see where you're getting a pension or where they still exist, because from everything I can see, they're a dying breed, and they are going away quickly. So that's pensions for you. Like if you found the video helpful. Subscribe for more, because I'm not just a veteran banker. I'm your veteran banker. Here to help you navigate the financial landscape, make some sense of all this money stuff, plain English answers to real world questions. All right, man, I'm Larry. I'll see y'all later.